you start with a slip knot and you then you do three chains one two three sorry six chains four five six then you do a treble in the third one from the beginning. So one, two, three. So you go through your loop and you work a treble stitch. And then you've got two chains here and you're going to do a treble in each of those two chains. So a treble is you wrap over first, through the chain, pick up your thread to the front and wrap over, and then you go through two, wrap over, go through two. So what you should have now is your three chains to start off with, um, and then one, two, three stitches. That's row, that's your first kind of row. So your next row, you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to repeat all of that again. So you're going to chain into the third. So treble into the third chain. One, two, three. So you have your three chains there and your first treble. So we're going to do two more trebles. Two and then one more. One, two. Now you have to make sure that your tail end is pointing downwards. And we're now going to do a slip stitch. That's your three chains that you started off with. You're going to do a slip stitch to join those two together. Okay, so you've got three stitches going um, horizontally and three stitches going vertically. So now we're going to do chain three. Okay, so that chain three is this chain three here. And then we're going to do three more trebles all in this loop here. That's one, two, And there is your second row. So if you imagine we're going corner to corner, this is your corner. So this is row one, this is row two. So now we're going to do row three, which will add one to here, one to here, and one on the end here. So at the start of every row, you chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A treble into row th uh, your third chain. One, two, three. And then two more trebles, one in each of the following chains. Now we've got, this is a loose one, so this is just hanging on. So remember the your tail hand has to go to the bottom, it points downwards, then this one joins on here. It's an easy way of, hopefully an easy way of remembering. So you go through that big loop and you slip stitch. And then you chain three. So that is like your first treble here and then three more trebles. So you've got this three chain, then one, two, three trebles. One, two, three. There we go. Now this one, you see, needs to connect to there. So again, through that big loop, do a slip stitch. 
and we're going to repeat the same that we did on here so we're going to chain three and then three trebles all in that loop so three chains one oh, sorry two three so here we've got row one row two and row three and you keep repeating that until you've got nine squares on either side so we've got six more to go i'll show you that start one more time so we're starting a new row here so we chain six one two three four five six we do a treble in the third chain from here so one two three and then two more trebles one in each of those chains okay so we've got three chains and three trebles so again that's hanging just on to, needs attaching so you make sure your tail is hanging down and then that fits so there's that big loop that we're going to do our slip stitch on and then that's attached and then you're going to do a square here here and on the end so for each of those consecutive squares you chain three and then you look for the big hole there and you do three trebles it's all the threes one two sorry just getting some more there two three i uh hope -huh. this is you can see this so we then have to join this to the next square so you look for your next big hole and slip stitch okay then you do three chains one two three and then three trebles in that space one two three slip stitch find that next big that next big hole and slip stitch then three chains one two three and then three trebles oops sorry one two three Got the tail right round so there we go this is row one row two row three and row four and each you can see one two three four so that's row four so you're going to keep doing that until you've got nine so one two three four so you need to keep going until you've got nine um nine squares on each side and i'll come back to you when i've got that so here we're on our last one we've got one two three four five six seven eight so this is our, our last row so i've done my three chains and then we're going to do our three trebles that's one two three so i just need a long loop there here's one that i've i finished if i put them together you can see that this is the the first half can you see that so that's the first half now at this point these these outer edges do seem to kind of go out on a curve don't worry about that because as you do the second half it actually pulls those back in if i can show you this one um see that's um that's pretty square 
So to start reducing, make sure that you've got nine on either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've definitely got nine on each side. Now, if you were making a scarf and this was as wide as you wanted your scarf to be, you would reduce on this side and keep expanding on that side. Sorry, on this side you can't see because it's it's gone. Um, I'll explain that in a bit, but for a square, we've finished our three. And what we need to do now is remove our working thread across here till it comes to this end. So what I do is I turn it around and I slip stitch a bit tighter slip stitch my thread across until I get into this big loop here like so so that's your your last one and then I start with my three because you're not extending uh, you're not increasing the row so we don't need a six uh, chain to start so we start with the three one get you make sure you're in view two three and then this is where we're going to do our square so we do three trebles one two three so there's your square and we're going to join it on with a slip stitch in this big hole here just a slip stitch and then we're going to do our next square here so we do another three sorry so one two three and we do our three trebles one two I do hope this is clear enough for you. Three, so those are three trebles. We're going to join that with a slip stitch in this big hole here. Okay, so there <coughs> we go. Let's see if I can. No, that's as far out as I can go. And so here's our next square. So we do three chains. One two three yeah, that's blossom we're going to do three trebles she's wanting to go for a little walk because it's called down that's two three trebles and we're going to join that one to there okay i'm going to speed up a bit now and go get to the end of the row Hang on, Bloss. So we do our three chains. One, two. Might even speed this bit up if I can figure out how to. There it is. So we join there. One, two, three. Three trebles. I just love this, I want to say variegated wool. Okay, so we join up there. Oh. One, two, three. Do our three trebles. I'll twist around this way a bit. One, two. Oh. Yeah, I'm coming, Blossom. I've nearly done. Three. We join it again. One, two, three, and three trebles. I hope you're getting the idea by now. This bit should be pretty easy. It's the decreasing that might cause you a bit of brain ache, but hopefully I'm going to show you how to get there. And join it there. One, two, three, three trebles. Two, 
two, three, and then I'm going to join it here. So if I can hold that far enough away, if this was the width of your scarf and you wanted to continue, you would do three chains and then three trebles to put an extra square on top and then you would do a six and then come back down again but because we're doing a square we don't want to add any more on to this side so just like when we did it here you're going to turn and slip stitch your thread to this big hole okay so apart from these no. slip stitches you only ever do any work in the chain holes. Okay, so we're back there and we're now going to turn it around and do the square there. So we're going to do three, okay, and then three chains. So on the decrease, you only ever do three chains and three trebles so it's only when you're increasing do you do the six chains i hope that makes sense so we're going to keep going now with the three chains and three trebles one two three and join it up so i'm going to stop there and i want to keep going until i get nearly to the end so we're going to join that one on to give it a turn and move but I've done four then so you can see we've just got one more square to do to finish so we do our three chains three trebles we join that one with a slip stitch and finish off and there we have our big square now this is as big as it is because I'm using um, a chunky wool and a size uh, 7 hook but um, I've been given uh, a lot of this, so I'm going to do a blanket out of these squares. So there we go. My arms aren't quite long enough, but there's our nine nine-sided square. Hope that all makes sense. Please do ask questions if it doesn't.